Well, a little earlier, I spoke to the Shadow City Minister, Richard Bergen. I asked him for his reaction to one Labour MP calling this U-turn a total effing shambles. Well, bad language is uh, never welcome, but rather than people asking why John McDonnell has changed his mind, perhaps people should be asking why George Osborne hasn't changed his mind. Uh, he's carrying on with the same uh, political austerity choice that he said would eliminate the, eliminate the deficit at the end of the last parliament. Now he's aiming to eliminate the deficit by the end of this parliament. So I think the real question is, why uh, won't George Osborne change his mind? OK, well, I'll ask George Osborne that next time I interview him. But let me put another of your MPs' comments on this U-turn. Mike Gape says, there's now no collective shadow cabinet responsibility in our party, no clarity on economic policy and no credible leadership. He's right, isn't he? No, no, I'm afraid uh, he's mistaken uh, on this. Uh, tonight, uh, the vast majority, I'm sure, uh, of Labour MPs will vote against George Osborne's austerity charter. The moderate majority of Labour MPs will vote against it. So there is unity uh, in the Parliamentary Labour Party. So I think Mike's no, mistaken no, on that. But there's no clarity, is there? Because John McDonnell, two weeks ago, puts up a policy that he now doesn't believe in. Well, in the last two weeks, there have been uh, predictions from the IMF, from the former president of President Obama's National Economic Council and others, that the global economic situation isn't perhaps as stable and predictable as we may have thought. Oh, so uh, two weeks ago it was OK, this policy, but now it's not. Well, if people don't change uh, their view when further evidence comes before them, then they've got some tough questions to answer. Labour is an anti-austerity party. This is a political stunt by George Osborne. So when would Labour eliminate the deficit then? Uh, Labour will eliminate the deficit, yes. Labour's not deficit deniers. The truth is that the Conservative government are poverty deniers. Labour will eliminate the deficit, but our aim is eliminating it through growth and eliminating it through ending corporate welfare. You say you're not a deficit denier. So what is the deficit going to be this year? Well, I'm not an economic... Um, I, I'm, I, I'm not somebody that's going to put uh, a figure in a crystal ball on exactly what the deficit's going to be at the end of the year. I well, think you don't be, I need think, a crystal ball. I, I, I it's in the government's uh, figures. I think, it's in the government's think, financial forecast. I think it'll be higher uh, than the government uh, says it's going to be. As I say, this is a government uh, that has promised to eliminate the deficit by the end uh, of this parliament, but it promised to do the same by the end of the last parliament as well and didn't do so. I wonder, given that you struggled to, to recall the, the deficit figure, whether as shadow... City Minister, you have uh, a lot of meetings in the city. When was the last time that you met someone in the square mile? Well, we meet people all the time uh, from uh, the city. In fact, I met representatives of business uh, only a couple of weeks ago uh, in Brighton. When was the last time you went into a city firm, though? Well, I was only appointed to this role uh, a number of weeks ago. Uh, Parliament has been in recess. Uh, we had uh, the conference season. Uh, at the conference season, of course, uh, I had uh, meetings with representatives uh, of business. Have you fixed any meetings with the people in the city to familiarise yourself with your patch? I've got a very busy diary, as you should imagine. Too and busy I'll, to I'll meet, meet city representatives, the no, shadow I'll be city meet, minister. I'll be, meet, I'll be meeting city representatives uh, who will be... I'll be interested to hear their views uh, and, um, and, and their perspectives on what's going on. Richard Bergen, thank you very much. Thank you very much.